Hello, everyone. And welcome. Welcome to the Reed Diffuser Party. <laughs> well, you know what? Valentine's Day is coming up. Yep. Uh, Mother's Day, birthdays, tons of occasions. Graduation. Absolutely. And this is actually mm -hmm. really, really good graduation gifts. Oh, yeah. For any of our dorm dwellers out there. Yeah. Because we're making Reed Diffuser bouquets today. But before we go ahead and start making, let's kind of take a minute to go over what reed diffusers yeah. are, how they work, the parts that go into them. Yeah, so Dana, what is a reed diffuser? Excellent question, I'd love to tell you. Uh, reed diffusers are um, really, really great ways to scent your space mm -hmm. uh, without the use of a flame or any heat at all. Yeah. So they are perfect for dorms, um, apartments, spaces you rent, things like that. Anywhere you really want to scent your space without worrying about an open flame. Yeah, I love them for bathrooms because it's like yeah. you always want the bathroom to smell fresh, but you so. don't really want to keep a candle burning in there all day long. Yeah, no, very true. And yeah. these pack a punch. Um, they do. They can fill a very small space mm -hmm. very quickly. Um, this is why they are no longer allowed in the office. <laughs> they yes. take over the space <laughs> in a good way, though. Yeah, um, you know, we, we have to keep our noses clear because we yeah. smell a lot of things. Absolutely. Yeah. So these are perfect for that and essentially mm -hmm. it's in the name so the reeds are going to go ahead and diffuse that scent and base all throughout your space yes um, there are a ton of different kinds of materials mm -hmm. styles of jars and reeds and there are a lot of fragrances that go well with these yes lots of fragrances so before we get started on making our reed diffusers let's kind of take a little overview of the supplies that we'll be working with yes. today there are quite a few. You Look don't this. need all Look of these. Look at this fancy <laughs> overhead shot. We did get some new equipment, yeah. so we're very excited to use it, actually. Yeah, yeah so we're probably going to be making good use of it today. Yes. Yeah. You will be seeing more, unfortunately. Sorry, everybody. So starting from the bottom up, maybe. OK. So jars, obviously, you need something to hold your diffusers and your base and fragrance solution. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the options we have. I love this frosted one. That's a newer, newer one. It is. We have been getting a lot of requests for frosted glass lately, yeah. so we do have the diffusers and now the tumblers. Yeah. Some nice matte black options. Mm -hmm. And you can't forget this electroplated one. I know. It's I, really fancy. I did forget about that. Yeah, you shouldn't. I know. How could you? <laughs> they do also, so those are the jars, but they do have some different options to close it. So if you're giving them as gifts or you're mm -hmm. not quite ready to um, make or use the diffusers, you can go ahead and just put a little stopper yeah. in. Pop the stopper on. And you're gonna get like a really, really secure. Yeah, it's a really tight seal. So these are fine to ship, mm -hmm. spill, whatever. They're not going to leak. Um, they're really good options. And they make a very <laughs> satisfying sound when you uh, take them off. I was waiting for it. Yeah. Perfect. So, um, and we do, just so you know, because we did get some questions about it, we have some collars for our the square. square design. Yeah. So it's beautiful, elegant. It does come with a little plastic stopper as well. Mm -hmm. So that way you're not going to um, you know, have to worry about leaks or anything yeah. like that. So this part does come with the collar. Yes. The more you know. Uh, then working our way up, we of course have our base. We're gonna have a reed diffuser base. This is the solution. Uh, that is going to mix with the fragrance and it's going to be wicked up through the reeds. Yeah, love that. Then we have the reeds. Um, and this is kind of the vehicle that that mixture is going to follow up. So we do mm -hmm. have different options in a lot of different colors, which is really nice. You can get some um, really kind of nice displays out of these. We do have kind of the OG Rattan. Rattan. Uh, Rattan. 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 Rattan reeds. Yeah. Uh, so these are the natural reeds. They come mm -hmm. in this natural color, which is pretty classic. Yeah. And I do. I love those. Also black. Yeah. This is probably what most people have seen yeah. reed diffusers be mm -hmm. used with. And they're kind of cool because if you, you probably can't see you in the camera, but um, you can see the little holes in mm -hmm. the end of the diffuser stick. So that's how things are wicked up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're great. Yeah. Um, we also have these new fun spirals. I love these. They're just so fun. Yeah. Like, I really, really like these. Yeah. Uh, I would use these on their own, but they look especially beautiful with, with the flowers. Of course, what we'll be using today for our bouquets. 
Um, and just something to note that the petals of the flower can kind of become a little saturated with mm -hmm. that fragrance. Um, so you just want to be a little bit cautious when yeah. you handle them. Uh, but they're super pretty. I mean, yeah. just very decorative. Mm -hmm. If you want something more, maybe a little bit modern, a little bit more minimal, mm -hmm. we also have fiber reeds. Yeah. So they do look and perform a little bit differently than our natural ones. It's kind of hard to tell, but yeah. um, they'd have like a softer feel to them. They Yeah, it's almost like a velvety feel. Yeah, and they come in black, white, and gray, which mm -hmm. is a nice option to have. I don't yeah. usually see yeah, um, me neither. some different color options. Yeah. There. Those are really fun. Yeah, and you can mix and match them. Nice. Yeah, you can mix and match all like the textures, the colors, the styles, whatever you like. Yeah. Um, typically, I guess we recommend like four to six yeah. reads. Uh, but you can definitely do it to your liking. Use more, use less. Yeah. And then the fun part is going to be fragrance. Of course. So why not? Yeah. Uh, these do work with both fragrance oil and essential oils. Uh, so you can definitely take your pick, but there are some things to think about. Yeah. Um, so before we get into that, you're also going to need a scale because mm -hmm. just like candles, soap making, we still also recommend that you weigh out all of your ingredients. Yes. So you'll need a scale, a measuring cup, or something to measure, mm -hmm. uh, weigh. Yeah, hold your, your, your solution mm -hmm. of your base and fragrance. Mm -hmm. And then gloves if you'll be spilling, which yeah. I likely I'm, will. I'm a little clumsy, so I like mm -hmm. having gloves, you know, just in case. Yeah. And then um, paper towel, yeah, you know, anything just that you would use Just your standard cleaning. cleanup equipment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are our things. Yeah. Now let's talk fragrance for a minute. part, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so you might have noticed uh, that, you know, we don't recommend all our fragrances for use in reed diffusers mm -hmm. because not all of them are approved for use in reed diffusers. And the person, well, the organization who approves that is IFRA, the International Fragrance Regulatory Association. Mm -hmm. So we provide recommendations mm -hmm. for use. IFRA provides what they deem to be compliant or safe to use. Yes. And we do follow their um, recommendations mm -hmm. and you should too. Yeah, please do. Please <laughs> do. Yeah, please look at the IFRA certificate. Mm -hmm. um, so we require uh, a fragrance to be able to be used at a minimum of 15% in order for us to recommend it for reed diffusers. And that's just because that's kind of the minimum amount that we've found to, you know, give most people a good fragrance throw that they're happy with. Um, yeah. Some fragrances, you know, you might test out. You can use a little less. It might still be good for you. Um, you can certainly use more as long as you're still not exceeding that maximum usage rate listed on the IFRA certificate. Yeah. And we chose um, to kind of highlight for florals mm -hmm. for the bouquets, yeah. which made a lot and of Valentine's sense for Day. us. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we are going with Bohemian Rose, um, which can be used up to 15%. Yeah. Coastal Cottage up to 18, 19 percent. Mm -hmm. um, English Garden 15 percent, and Hibiscus Palm at a whopping 25 percent. Ooh, 25 percent. So it. most of our Candle Science fragrance oils will be recommended to use at 15 to 25 percent. Yeah, uh, and now, as you can see here. Yeah, so here are two IFR certificates. So we have Tulip Fields and we have Bohemian Rose. Um, and so if you will look on the product page on the Candle Science website at Tulip Fields, you'll see that we mark it as not recommended for use in reed diffusers. However, you go and take a look at the IFRA certificate and you see that it has a max usage of 13.16%. So it falls underneath that minimum amount of 15% for us to recommend it. Now, you certainly could use Tulip Fields in a reed diffuser um, up to 13.16% if you like. It might work great for you. It might work really well for your purposes, in which case, knock yourself out. I think that fragrance would be really pretty in a diffuser. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but again, do not exceed the amount listed on the IFRA certificate. If you do, you will no longer have an IFRA compliant end mm -hmm. product. And if you are gifting or selling your items, you do want them to be IFRA compliant yes. for sure. Yeah. Um, so that 15% is what we recommend. And all of the maximum usage levels on IFRA documents are just that. They are the maximum 
percentage yes. that you should be using, not necessarily what you should be using to get a good throw. Yeah, because as you'll see, for mm -hmm. candles, a lot of these have a max usage of 100%, which is an insane fragrance load. If you did that, you would have a candle slushy. Yeah, no, we don't want soup. Yeah, we um, don't want soup. So that is why on Candle Science, on the product pages, you'll mm -hmm. have the recommended amounts to use, but it's always good to check the IFRA to see the maximum use so you don't yeah. go over it if you will be testing other amounts. Yeah. Now, if you are making reed diffusers and you want to only see the fragrances we have that are approved at um, a minimum of 15% for diffusers, we got you. There's a handy tool you can use to find that out, and that is the Fragrance Oil Finder. One of my absolute favorite things, if not my favorite thing on our site. Yeah. I use it every single day, pretty much. Same. It's super helpful. You can limit by season, other categories, fragrance notes. So mm -hmm. if you only want a fragrance with bergamot notes, you will be able to see it. Um, and then for our purposes today, uh, we're going to be limiting by application, diffuser base approved. Mm -hmm. So there are currently 63 fragrances that, um, these are fragrance oils. Yes, fragrance way. oils. Because uh, there are essential oils that are approved as well but these are 63 cents that you could choose from mm -hmm. and then start your testing. But just a reminder, the, um, the actual recommended percent could be different. Some might be 15, some could be 20, 25. So you will still have to look at the individual scents to see how much to put in your diffuser because it yeah. can vary scent by scent. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, generally we see like 15 to 25% is a pretty common yeah. use rate, of course, depending on uh, the amount that's allowed per IFRA. Yeah, so just double check. Yeah. It helps. Mm -hmm. um, and that, I mean, the uh, the only other thing we would really then need would be our base. Yes. Um, so we do have the Candle Science Eco Base Rediffuser Solution. Uh, this works really well. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, we do have two different ones. This is probably my favorite. Yeah, um, that's this a good is base. The one that I use more often. Yeah, it's 100% biodegradable, which we love. Mm -hmm. Made with over 50% renewable resources. Yeah, just a good base, and I think it um, performs like a little, just slightly better than the other one we have in my I experience. Would say so. Yeah, but it's, again, a, it's a good one. Do you can absolutely test? Yeah. Um, to see what works better for your particular recipe. Yeah, in fact, it would be kind of interesting to test them side by side. I know. I feel like we've done some, and I just they're so strong. Yeah, I know they are. They get really strong sometimes. <laughs> It can be a lot, but I love them. Yeah. Um, so we are going to go ahead and make some mm. bouquets uh, because honestly, we just love these flower I'm just obsessed with the flowers. Yeah. They're just so pretty. And diffusers are, are very popular right now. They are very so popular. I'm a little late to the game. Yeah. But yeah, more and more people are looking for like flameless fragrance options for their homes. You know, a lot of people don't want to burn candles all day, but they still want to have a nice fragrance throughout their space. Yeah. Live in a dorm, you can't burn candles, mm -hmm. you know other things like that. You don't have to worry about whether or not you blew out your diffuser when you left for work this yeah. morning. Always a plus. So which one, let's mm -hmm. see, which reed diffuser bottle would you like to use? Well, I'm a big fan of matte black. I think I'm going to go with the matte black cube. I love that one. Yeah, especially since, honestly, I'm not a big Valentine's Day girl. <laughs> I'm kind of more of a anti-Valentine's Day. So this will Perfect be bottle for it. This will be good for me. So that's what I'm going to be using. And Love then it. for fragrance, I'm going to be using Bohemian Rose, which is one of our new fragrances. Very fitting. And uh, kind of the breakout star of this fragrance launch. I'm not going to lie. I I didn't think I was a rose girl. And I say that every time we have a new yeah. floral. Um, but this, this is the one that converted me and judging by the comments a lot of other people I was I was shocked honestly this is the rose for people who don't like rose yeah if you don't like rose you will like this it's beautiful that's not a guarantee but uh I don't know I'll have a conversation about it yeah <laughs> right in if you don't like bohemian rose all right so now we got to do some math here we go which is my least favorite part Yes, so there is a two-part equation yes. for reed diffusers, mm -hmm. um, and we are going by the weight as always. Always so, go by weight. We've got our handy scale right here. Absolutely. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna multiply uh, the amount of base by weight that you will be using uh, by the percentage of fragrance, your fragrance load, and that's gonna be how much fragrance you'll be using. Yes, um, and it's it's relatively simple, even though it's two parts. We will be going by the weight of 
essentially the base that fits in the bottle. Yeah. Um, just like the candle would be the wax weight, mm -hmm. this is going to be the base weight. Yeah. And we do list on the product pages for all of our diffuser jars mm -hmm. um, the amount of base they will hold by weight. So it makes it nice and easy for you. And it will be different from how the volume measurement. Yes. So just make sure that you are going by the um, the fill line. The weighted, weight. yeah. Weighted amount. Yeah. All right. So this jar holds, let's see, it holds 3.5 ounces by weight. And I'm going to be using a 15% fragrance load. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So have our handy little beaker right here. And so we have our, our equation handily on the screen right there. So I know I'm going to need 0.52 ounces of fragrance. Perfect. Which is great because I have a one ounce bottle. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to turn on my scale. Little tip, um, you can either, well, I guess if, if you turn it on, whatever you have on the scale already, the weight will already be teared or canceled out. Um, or alternatively, do it the other way. You can turn it on, put on your measuring device, and then tear the weight of that to get rid of it. So that way I'll only be weighing the fragrance. Oh, I guess I should wear gloves. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. It's always good. I feel like I always forget to wear gloves and immediately regret yeah, it. Yeah, I have a tendency sometimes to spill, so. Yeah. So we have gloves, and we do have some like rubbing alcohol, paper towels on hand. Just typical just cleanup case. supplies. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what? 0. 0.52 ounces. All yes. right. Ooh, here we go. We're doing it live. 0. 0.5. Okay, that's. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna say 0. 0.5 is good. <laughs> that's fair. If you're wondering, um, it's probably better if you're on the fence to go slightly under. Round down. Round if down. you need to, yeah. Especially when you're dealing with IFRA. Yeah. Um, and also start your testing at the lower end. That mm -hmm. way, if you're happy with that throw, you can always yeah. add a little bit more to the max. Whereas you start with the max, you kind of have to subtract. But you can get a really good throw, usually mm -hmm. using a smaller amount than yeah. the max would Yeah, and you're saving fragrance, which is yeah. always good. So start low. You can always yeah. add a little mm -hmm. bit more. All right, and so I am going to then need, how much base will I need? Let's see. So then what we're going to do is take the uh, weight to the fill line, which is 3.5 ounces, uh, subtract the amount of fragrance, which was 0.52 ounces, and to get 2.98 ounces of base. Now, you could weigh these separately when you're measuring, if you want to. You could take this off, use a different beaker. I'm going to do it in the same beaker. Wild. Just living dangerously here on the edge. So I'm going to tear the weight again. Mm -hmm. So that way I'm only going to be weighing the diffuser base. Ooh, the lid's really on here. There we go. It's probably Brand good. Brand new. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect. All right, what is it? 2.98 ounces. Mm -hmm. And that should then give you the total ounce to the fill line, which would be that original 3.5 when fully combined. Um, and if you are selling them, packaging them, that would be the amount that you would list on your packaging. Um, would be 3.5 ounces. Ah, so 2.95. That's what I'm going to go with. Nice. <laughs> Again, rounding down. Perfect. You still got to pour. Um, you could use a funnel, um, something like that. I find that the necks of these bottles are mm -hmm. pretty, pretty easy yeah. to pour into, mm -hmm. but um, you could always use tools that you have on hand as well. Okay, so I do see a comment. Can we put the calculation in the chat? So it should have oh. been on the screen there for you. But we can, um, we can try to get that. In we the can chat put it in there. the chat as well. I'm just going to give it a little swirl mm -hmm. just to kind of yeah. mix it together. There is also, um, if you go to the Candle Science website, like a how, if you search how to make a rediffuser or something like that, we have like a quick little video as well as the equation um, and some examples as well. Nice. I'm a big fan of these glass beakers. Mm -hmm. They're what, like graduated glass beakers, but they're super handy for pouring because they have that little spout. Yeah. No, they're good. And it's very tempting to try to measure by volume in them, um, but do not. Don't do it. Don't do it, please. <laughs> Perfect. I'll move this for you. This one. All right, so now it's the fun part. All the stuff. 
I can already smell the Bohemian Rose, like, very so strongly. Strong. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What do we do? We, I typically like five to eight reeds. Mm-hmm. Because I like it to be nice and loud and strong. Go nuts. And do do at least two flowers, mm -hmm. maybe three. And that is just so already, it's such an elegant option. Um, right? Look how good that looks, you guys. Especially for home decor yes. or if you have any like real estate agents in your family. Oh, a real estate agent would mm -hmm. love a diffuser. And I love candles, m maybe more than the next mm -hmm. guy, truly, but... These are such good, like, housewarming gifts, everything, anything like that. Things that you just want in, like you said, a bathroom, um, Ooh, an entryway. The black, the black looks good. The black does look good. Um, these will constantly be uh, throwing scent. Yes. So you don't, there's not a ton of maintenance on them. Mm -hmm. um, depending on your recipe and materials, they can last a few weeks, a few months, I've seen. So it kind of does depend on, you know, how many reeds you use, the kind of reeds you're using, the fragrance, the base. <gasps> but hungry. that's, I would buy that. I mean, come on. I would buy that. I really like mixing the black fiber reeds with mm -hmm. the natural, like, kind of flowery reeds and spirals. So fun. That's beautiful. Yeah. What do you think, I, Dana? I love it. And then you'd be able to just do, mm. like, a little, oh. mm. She's gorgeous. She's so pretty. And this is going to start throwing immediately. Yeah, we're, we're going to start smelling it here in like five minutes. Yeah. So this can't be a long live. Yeah. <laughs> I actually already smell it quite a bit. That's so nice. Luckily, Bohemian Rose is super pretty, so yes. I'm not mad about it at all. And very, very fitting yeah. um, for those flowers. Yeah. Um, spring is coming. I think we're willing it to happen. So these are perfect scents for that as well. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. I love that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put her to the yeah. side. Okay, I'm going to. Ooh, now I don't know. I like. I think I like yours better already. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yours is gonna be pretty. Let's see. I'm. I'm gonna go with the frosted jar because it's a little bit different than some of the other things. Mm -hmm. Although I, I stand behind truly yeah. that this is my favorite. Yeah, that's I, a classic. It, there is something just so beautiful about it. Even empty, it just looks like a nice piece of decor. Like I think it's the heavy base of it. Like, it has yeah. that nice, thick, heavy base on the bottom. You can kind of see there. Yeah. Yeah, but also, I mean, there's... There's something about the frosted. Just like, and like... That's a good, that's a good choice, because we did have someone ask... Ooh. Yeah, we should use a clear jar so you can see how much is in the jar. Yeah, so this, you'll be able to see mm -hmm. it in the frosted one. Also, Ken, I mean, we can, we can change this up real quick, because we do have a clear option. We do have a clear option, if you wanted to yeah. go with the clear. So... Yeah, and they're the same size, so yeah. our, our pre-done calculations will still work. <laughs> sorry for lying, everybody, but yeah. I could not do math. Um, yeah, we're not going to do math live here. on air. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a very specific set of skills. That is not one of that them, one. unfortunately. I am going to go with Coastal Cottage. You love surprise, Coastal surprise. Cottage. Yeah, I'm shocked. Um, I need to shut up about this fragrance, but I can't. I'm Don't shut up about it. With it. it. It, it Our is, job is to talk about fragrance, Dana. I know, but I should pick another one sometimes. <laughs> I need the, oh, let me just give the beaker a quick little, little spritz clean. Spritz. Although, you know what? Coastal Cottage and Bohemian Rose is probably not going to smell oh, unpleasant. Actually, probably is pretty good. So rubbing alcohol to get rid of any lingering scent mm -hmm. and to neutralize it. There. Perfect. Fresh as a daisy. Okay, I am gonna Perfect. put on my gloves as well. Gonna be safe. All right, here we go. So it is. I'm just gonna start. Start fresh. Turn on my scale. Put on my beaker. So again, it is the equation is the base weight times the percentage of fragrance. I'm going to use 18% here, mm -hmm. which is 1.09. You know what? That's so close. I'm just going to go ahead and use the whole the whole one ounce. The whole yeah. one ounce. Yeah. And then we can put that in. So tear my scale to zero. Always make sure you're starting on a teared out scale. You're too good yeah, you don't want to forget, which I have done many times, mm -hmm. sadly. Aha, perfect. Oh, Coastal Cottage smells so good. Immediately, immediately fresh. Um, and then we are going to take that weighed ounce of fragrance, multiply it, uh, excuse me, 
subtract from the original base weight. Yeah. So this clear jar and the frosted jar hold 6.1 ounces. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear my scale once more and measure out 6.1. Five point five. Po excuse me. Five, five point yeah. one. Sorry. We'll we'll allow five, five ounces. We'll do five. A solid five. Don't spill. <laughs> I've never been more nervous. <laughs> oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Four nine five. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll go. With ah. yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> there she five. Is. five. Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and just give her a little swirl. You could stir it, you can mix it up. Um, you can also store your base and fragrance mixture mm -hmm. ahead of time. Yep. You can kind of batch this yep, if you're absolutely. going to go ahead and fill your jars later. Yeah, and then you can just go ahead and plug the jars up. Yeah. So pour your mixture pour in there. In, save them for yeah. later, package them up, plug them get up. them out of here. Yeah. Um, so Hard here, yeah, you're a better pourer than I am, so I'm going to gingerly. This is riveting, I know. <laughs> Quality entertainment. But, there you go. So, did I spill? No, okay, perfect. All right, I'm going to put this a little bit more front and center for you. It is pretty full. It is pretty full. Um, it should probably yeah. be a we little might, bit lower. Yeah, I mean, we might, might want a little less in there, actually. Add some extra in there. Just Sorry once we that. add once we add the reeds, we're gonna yeah. yeah, we're gonna need some space. But generally you'll find, especially with clear jars, it should it'll they'll be somewhere like around there. You do want to have some space. Um, judging by the way that scale flickered, I may not have teared it correctly. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so you went with the black and the curly. Yeah. And I will go with let's see at least at least one flower because bouquet. I'm very, very into these. Little, little curly little, cues. A little wild. So I'm gonna go with a little more here. Ooh, I'm liking that. Mm -hmm, I'm liking mm -hmm. the way that looks. And you know what? Not with black, I'll go with white. Or mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Try it. Let's see. Oh yeah. I like that. Oh, kind of, that is kind of nice. That is nice. See, and then it's just the single flower. Do you need another flower, though? Maybe. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, these are bouquets. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is seven, seven reads. Um, I like the stopper options mm -hmm. that come with these. I don't know. I've been kind of feeling. I love the gold. I like the gold. The gold lately. Yeah. Um, I, I'm into the gold. Yeah. With this, the silver on the silver, I think, is the one that makes like the most sense for me, yeah. and that's just a beautiful package. You can kind that of way. mix and match them too. Totally. Do the do the black mm -hmm. matte black. I could with also the do. Ooh, matte that black, looks cool. Actually. Look at that, you guys. These are kind of. That is cool. I like that a lot. I like that. Come into it. These guys there. But yeah, this is this is really nice. Yeah. And I mean, here, like grab another jar. Let's see. We can just make an empty one. Yeah, we'll just make an empty one just to do some yeah. more arranging. Let's do it in our, yes. our square, our square yes. boy. Now, normally, let me just give you an idea of how you may have seen them before. They're kind of just like that, which looks nice. It's nice. It's a little, it's a little basic, but it's there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, this is wrong this is quality. Uh, not bouquet-ish, but this is likely, um, you know, you'll see these in like a lot of stores and things like that. Yeah. But you can really take it up a notch mm -hmm. with these flowers. Nice. I was so excited when we got these. You can, I mean, you could even do all flowers, but you might not need as many yeah. um, with those. And sometimes a little bit less is more. Yeah. I, I always don't like, say that often. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like two or three flowers at most, I think. Yeah, and especially with with the kind of metallic mm -hmm. color, even just a few um, of those natural colored reeds are yeah. nice. You can do some straight, you can mix and match shapes, styles, colors. I mean, that that's a bouquet to me. Yeah? Yeah. Let me see, ooh, let me see the, 
because I, I haven't used the gray fiber reeds yet. Let me see what those look like. Oh, you know what? Ooh, oh. try them in the black. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, smoky. Ooh. Or you could mix them. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, that's that's sexy. Ooh, what if we do black like and that. gray even? And then one flower. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow, it's really bright. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I like it. That's a pop. That is a pop. Two. You see, no flowers even. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to have the flowers. Yeah, but... you don't need to actually make bouquets. Um, but with all of the holidays coming up, why not? That's kind of boring. You know what? They can't all be winners. That one needs a, you know what it needs? Mm. It needs a flower. It needs a flower. It does need a flower. <laughs> it just doesn't look complete now without a flower. Yeah, you're right. No. And that. Yeah, see, that would set that up for me. Yeah. 100%, I think. Yeah. Um, and these, I mean, they make beautiful, beautiful gifts. Yeah. Um, they're uh, they're very impressive, I'd mm -hmm. say. It looks like they have a ton of parts to them, but they're actually really simple to make. Yeah. Nice. All right. So we have a few questions. Yes. Ask away. So. What can we tell you about reed diffusers? All right. So this is a great question. And just pointing out, they're not filled halfway. As you can see, we filled this one... Almost, almost, almost all the way full. Yeah. Um, but you don't want to fill it completely, completely full just to account uh, for any spillage. You know, once you put mm -hmm. the reeds in, uh, they are going to displace some of the available space in there. So mm -hmm. the level of the diffuser mixture is going to rise. Um, and, you know, you don't want it to be all the way full because in case your customers are picking them up, moving them around, you know, maybe they want to move it from their hallway to their bathroom or something. Mm -hmm. You just don't want to, you want to let them have a little allowance to mm -hmm. kind of wiggle it around a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And if you will be using stoppers, um, that is going to add a little bit of pressure as well. So you just want to make sure that you have enough room. Now, if someone is selling something like starting down here, that's a little sketch. It's a little sketchy, yeah. but you do, you do want it to have a substantial amount. But again, for candle science ones, at least I would go by the fill weight. Yeah. Um, that we list. Yeah. yeah. You can definitely experiment or go by the manufacturer's recommendations. Yeah. But yeah, something else. That's a good question. Yeah. All right. Here's one, Dana, that you can talk about. Uh oh. What does oh. coastal <laughs> cottage smell like? It's a great, great question. It smells like a coastal cottage. A cottage on the coast, if you will. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It there for me. For me, it is. Um, it's something very, very nostalgic. It. I don't want to say that this is a beachy scent for real. Like it does have a little mm -hmm. bit of salt in it, but it. it there's also a mint to yes. it, um, like a subtle mint that just really rounds it out. Mm -hmm. um, there's a little bit of greenery as well. It's really fresh. It's and so fresh. It's fresh, refreshing. Definitely ozonic. I think. Yeah, like a really, really fresh mm -hmm. sea air with like a little bit of like greenery, a little bit of floral, yeah. a little bit of citrus, but not nothing in this is overwhelming except how good it is. And it, it's a vibe. <laughs> like it's it is a vibe. Yeah, it is a vibe. It's a it's, very like atmospheric mm -hmm. fragrance for sure. Like you're in a really OK, so you are in mm -hmm. a beautiful cottage on the coast. Yeah. And you just open the windows and it's not too hot. It's not too cold. There's a breeze coming in. The house has just been cleaned. Um, and, you know, you're just feeling really good about that. That yeah. is what Coastal Cottage smells like to me. Mm -hmm. um, I love, if you couldn't tell, I love this fragrance so much. Yeah. On a top five for me. Oh, yeah? Well, I know, wow. I know. Wow. Them's fighting words. I mean, I like it a lot. I don't know if it hits top five for me, but. That's, we, you know what? We can agree to disagree. We'll fight. We'll fight. <laughs> we can fight about it. Join in next time. Where we, <laughs> next time live. Where Cassie and Dana fight. <laughs> Okay. All right, here we have a question about the throw. Oh. Let me see, get this one here. All right, you used a lavender at the base at 25% and used five reeds, but the smell did not come through unless you're close. So one thing you can do is you can add more reeds. You can. Um, you could also try, if it's been a little bit um, replacing the reeds, yep. getting some new one in. We would not recommend flipping the yeah. reeds uh, because all of that 
base and fragrance mixture is going to be wicked upwards. So you're basically mm -hmm. reversing yeah. the, the wicking process. You're, mm -hmm. It's going to be wicking it down now. So you do want everything to kind of go up and mm -hmm. then it will start to diffuse out. If you do flip that, it can cause some issues. Um, some people say to do it. We kind of officially recommend don't. Yeah, plus you can't really flip the flowers. Yeah, that would... Good point. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't actually think about that. Um, but yeah, I, and the other thing is maybe the space. Yeah. I'd say there are a few Size things. Size of the space definitely makes, you know, has an effect. Yeah. We had one with Black Sea in the hallway for quite some time, um, and it was a tight space, so it, it kind of filled that scent. If you have something like an open air living room, you know, work living space, yeah. it could get lost, especially if there's like drafts or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is I would maybe test it in a smaller area first just yeah. to make sure. Uh, and also I would get some opinions um, as well and then just see how you want to adjust. Um, some people pick up on yeah. different scents first over others. Mm -hmm. um, I, for instance, can't smell a certain kind of musk. It just yeah. doesn't register with my nose. So you can, <laughs> yeah, you can tell me it's in there, but I won't smell it. So lavender might just be something you're really, really used to, or you know, we can definitely Think about the space that it's in and mm -hmm. what kind of reads you're using. Um, but if it's still not throwing, um, definitely write in to us here at support and we'll see if there's anything else we can do. Yep. All right. Nice. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to write them in. Otherwise, we're just going to sit here admiring our <laughs> diffuser bouquets. And I do love them. Like, I do. Yeah, they do look them. so pretty. I don't know which one's my favorite. I think the one I made is my favorite. I think the one you made is my favorite as well. Yeah. Uh, if I'm being <laughs> honest, here, let's, we'll showcase. Um, I honestly, I think that's beautiful. With the little, or the oh, black. Yeah, yeah actually. Yeah, Ooh, I, I kind of like the gold with it though. It kind of ties in like from the middle of the flowers. Yeah. So, so I think I would use the gold. Yeah. But you could still use the black mm -hmm. if you want. And again, on Candle Science website, there are also um, some more tips, um, the equation as well, as well as all of those fragrances that you can mm -hmm. find. You don't have to just use florals. There are 63 others to choose yeah. from. Oh, and here we go. <laughs> packaging. What would we recommend for packaging? Um, so unfortunately, there's nothing we carry right now that um, will work for packaging any of these. It's something I've it's, been struggling with as well. Yeah, um, I know it's something um, our product folks are looking at, yep. uh, to maybe some options for you. Um, a lot of times I've seen people package them like in a box with crinkle cut mm -hmm. paper, um, and then they kind of tie the little reeds together, sometimes with a little bow or ribbon yeah, or like something. Bundles, I've seen them yeah. most sold as bundles. Um, or like you mentioned, kind of those like incense yeah. type shape boxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't currently carry the best packaging for reed diffusers, yeah. but there are ways to get creative. Um, I've wanted to try some of the flush boxes, but... I know that they're looking into yeah. something as well. Uh, I don't think there's anything yet, because yeah. it's quite a different packaging, you know, problem to solve versus candles, which are a little more straightforward. Yeah, because you are going to have... They will ship separate. Yeah. Um, so just to kind of give a visual... This is this is kind of what we're working with, yeah. and I've seen them tied in really interesting ways. Mm -hmm. uh, I have seen them packaged kind of lower in long boxes, but mm -hmm. there there is usually an oddly shaped package, yeah. or they're sold completely separate. Yeah. So it is something we're looking into, though. Um, we we hear you on that for sure. Is there a wait time after mixing? No, and that's another positive of reed diffusers. The they ultimate. start working. <laughs> Instantly, <laughs> like I'm, yeah. we're already getting our coastal cottage and bohemian rose. And you know what? They do smell rather pleasant together. They're um, they're nice together. Yeah. yeah. This was a good choice. We could have really messed that up if we yeah. <laughs> if we didn't we weren't careful. Um, but yeah, it's like the ultimate last mm -hmm. minute gift. Yes. Um, they're so simple no to make too. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times I've been like, oh, I realize I need to get a gift for somebody, mm -hmm. and this would have been a great option for me in those yeah. instances. These can also be fun. I know um, a lot of people do like candle nights, uh, mm -hmm. wine nights, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. This is a very easy activity to do with a group of people. 
um, if you just have a bunch of supplies, because mm -hmm. um, they all can be kind of unique. You can choose your scents. It's easy, and the takeaway is really good on this. Like, yeah. I don't know, you kind of come away feeling like you made something really beautiful, mm -hmm. and that smells really good for a long time, so. Yeah. Here, this is an interesting question. Do, we, do you find that different types of reeds throw certain types of scents better? So I can't say that's something we've ever looked at. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. We can definitely check in um, with our product team, but as far as I know, as far as I as know, as far as I yeah. know, disclaimer, um, we <laughs> which may not be super far. Yeah, <laughs> for the short distance <laughs> that I know about this particular thing, um, we have tested the different materials, mm -hmm. but really only in relation to how they throw scent compared to each other. Yeah, and and not as much like different types yeah. of scents. But that's very interesting, and I wonder if maybe we have. Um, it's it's not something that I know off the top of my head, yeah. but um, I would also be interested to know when we test the fragrances themselves. Mm -hmm. When they when our team does test them, that's mm -hmm. how we get that 15% to 25%. Um, it's how well they perform. Yeah. I don't know if certain scents perform better than others or why mm -hmm. that you know would make a difference in the material, but we can find out if yeah. it does. Yeah, I do know that in general, um, not always in general, uh, the fiber reads t kind of perform slightly better, but mm -hmm. yeah, that's the only thing I can say. Yeah, and a mix of of the materials yeah. is, is I think is that's really ideal. Fun. Yeah. Woo, that is strong, you guys. I wish we <laughs> I wish you could smell these right now because it is it is quite strong. I just got I just got a hint of nice that bit. Bohemian rose too. Yeah. All right. Why shouldn't you flip the reeds? Well, we kind of touched on it earlier, but you know, you might not have been there for it. So you don't want to flip the reeds because then you're going to kind of, so the, the wicking action is happening from bottom up. When you flip the reed, you're reversing it. So it actually can kind of inhibit that throw. Mm -hmm. You might get like an initial burst of a stronger fragrance flipping the reed just because you're, you know, flipping what was yeah. soaking in the uh, diffuser and fragrance solution. Um, but once that dries up, you might not get as good of a scent after mm -hmm. that. Yeah, it's it's essentially hard to reverse. Yeah, you're hard reversing. to reverse uh, the direction of the diffusing. Yeah, you're basically reversing all of its progress. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I still know makers that do it. Um, some people say to, some people don't. Um, for those reasons, we we say not to. Um, it's probably better once you either run out of the solution or lose the scent completely. Mm -hmm. It's time to replenish. Yeah. Which or, you have to do less often than candles. Yeah. I mean, and you know, you can always pop in one or two more reeds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. All right. How much would we charge for a set if you're getting all the supplies from candles? So we do have a good article on our website about uh, how to price your mm -hmm. candles, which the, all the advice still applies to reed diffusers as well. Um, cause it kind of depends on your, you know, the love like is, yeah do, are you ha promoting a luxury brand are you per, you know promoting a more like kind of mass market brand um mm -hmm. like a bbw kind of level yeah. you're going to want to take into account which reads you're using which fragrance mm -hmm. um the jars obviously but also if you have any labels if you have any packaging yeah. things like that all of those parts um if you start to add up those costs um the count science website will give you kind of a breakdown yeah. of about where you should be charging um, yeah and generally like the general advice is for retail sales it's going to be about four times your own cost uh, so the your cogs you know your cost of goods you might have mm -hmm. heard that heard that before uh, retail is typically four times that amount, um, and then if you're doing wholesale to a store, like you have a couple accounts with store local stores in your area, it's typically uh, like two to three mm -hmm. times, depending on you know what you want to do. All of that notwithstanding, if you told me that was forty dollars, I'd be like, yes, uh, sure it is. Yeah, and like, <laughs> so it depends on how you market it, right. what your target market is. Mm -hmm. um, so all of that is, is going to come into to yeah, play there. Definitely. All very good questions, you guys. Yeah. And we don't highlight diffusers a lot. I know. Um, so I was I was very excited to kind of make these. Yeah. And I am going to leave these in the office, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got to get that coastal cottage. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's so good. It's so good, guys. Just it's so good. Just, just try. <laughs> All right. Well, these are 
free our chicken bouquets. scissors. <laughs> yeah. These are our bouquets. We love them. We hope you love them. Mm -hmm. And we also, with all of our fancy new equipment, we do hope to be doing more lives yes. as well. So this was Read Diffuser Bouquets, but if y'all have any suggestions or any projects, tutorials, materials you want to know more about, definitely let us know. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be more than happy to kind of set something up like that for you. And we do, I think we have a live next week. We do have a live next week. Fragrance blending, but. I don't think we've, we've promoted it yet. No, oops. oops. Well, hey. Heard it here first. We might cut this out later. Yeah. Um, but next week, I think we're gonna try to do some live fragrance blending based on y'all's suggestions. Mm -hmm. So if you want us to blend anything alive for you. Or you wanna like punk us a little bit and you have a really heinous blend you wanna see us try. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Um, so that's, hopefully we'll get that out for you yeah. soon. But we hope you love them. We hope you make them. Um, um, and and if you, yeah, and if you do make them, you want to show them off, uh, post them on your Instagram and tag us. We're always watching. We're always watching. <laughs> yeah. We really love seeing what you guys make. Yeah. So let us know. And then if there's no more questions, yeah, that's, no? It. Yeah. Okay, that's it. See you next yeah, time. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.